It's a heavyweight championship showdown between Demetrius Johnson and Stefan Struve. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 33 wins, 13 losses. Standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Beaverwick, the Netherlands, presenting the challenger, Stefan Skyscraper! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 30 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Demetrius! for the championship. You can do a little stretch in the dress room and protect yourself for that time. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to be Ready. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Checks the leg kick. Punch there by the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. Just out of range with that right hook. 
misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the judge. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear at the gas tank for a long time. Both fighters back to their feet now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Doing a nice job putting it all together. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. Nice straight there by Struer. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch and the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, a huge block there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. And he landed the right hand there. Four clinches. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice head kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Block. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watch this guy go. Wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Strew gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And they separate. Right hook attempt, but it's no good. Strews lowers Sean now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Strew gets hit with a kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big shot lands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. And threw it with ill intent. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick lands. with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Struve gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Real quick leg kick. Sneaky head kick. Round two straight ahead. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in, and I can assure you, he's gonna have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You gotta check these low leg kicks. 
caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. It's a good right hand right there. Nice punch land over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just missed with the left there. And both guys really throwing with authority. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Big punch land. advantage, you might as well use it. Struve's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Single collar tie now. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, big elbow. Stuffed the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tight clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. He's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by DJ. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Leg kick checked by Shrew. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Beautiful kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Beautiful punch. How about that shin? He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? 10 seconds. What a punch. Tags him with the left. All 
right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Head kick lands. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. What a punch. Strew gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice kick. And a couple big strikes landed there for Demetrius Johnson. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Slips to avoid that left. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Nice punch there by DJ. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Just misses there with the left. Strew gets hit with a kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Man. Strew's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Vicious combo there. Hard in the pocket. Oh, big left. Superman punch lands. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he caught the kick. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. That's a big strike right there. Right under the elbow by Superman. 
Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Nice defense there. Huge block. Straight right hand, no good. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Relax a little bit. You're starting to take a lot of damage to that eye. And he just circled away from that side. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Good straight hand there by Johnson. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Demetrius circles out. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good hard. Groove gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Unable to connect there. Oh! Right hand has to strike to blow at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Oh, big left hook there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Can't take many of those, you better check. Struve's kick is blocked. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, stuffs the right down now. Now he's in the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Johnson's right back to the full mount here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him in play to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. So he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab, it's something you can't really prepare for. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Johnson. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now he's got the tie clinch. Block that kick to the body. Go 
visibly limping here. Final minute. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Johnson going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Beautiful. Wow! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. The skyscraper trying to finish. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Oh, big left. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Here we go, fifth and final round. All right, so a good job. Oh, oh, the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut win. Oh, he might be out. Comes through with a big knee. Huge elbows! Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice loop and punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Back and forth we go. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Johnson goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Such a fast leg kick. Now connects with a right. Street. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Three minutes now to go in this one. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. I mean, how many can he take? Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Big head kick. Great punch. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout.
Then at inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Stefan Stars All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a 